This video will be demonstrating a site emergency tracking system that has been created using Alpha 5. Before continuing, there are a number of characteristics and features to consider that are built within this program. This database uses touchscreen technology for all actions. It can be networked and even interfaced with less complex screens in other work areas. It is a program that you can also, with the minimum of development, you could change it to a staff timekeeping system or a work order management system or both. It easily records visitor induction records and it enhances reception duties and customer interface. The program is designed to be left running 24 seven but can be turned off and on at any time. It is also designed to be placed in access points to the workplace so that all staff and visitors must pass on entering and leaving your facilities. As you look at the screen, you can see three lists. The list to the top left shows all staff that have entered the site. The list to the top right will show all staff that have come to work but have left the facility for some purpose or task. This purpose can be anything from lunch to a proper off-site work task. This allows you to check the return time and start the checking procedures if you are concerned about them being overdue. The last list to the bottom right shows you all visitors that you currently have visiting your site. Add and removing staff is as simple as tapping the staff button and follow the prompts. We will add a new staff member named John Smith. To remove a staff member, click the Manage Staff button, select the staff and double tap them and they will be removed. Managing tasks is similar to that to managing staff. Click the Manage Staff button and follow all the prompts. Let's look at doing some transactions. When your staff arrive for the start of work, all they have to do is tap on the clock on button and select their name. They now appear in the on-site list at work. Note their arrival time is displayed as well. The list sorts by arrival time. When someone leaves for the day, they need only double click on the list box for the staff on site, select their name and they will be clocked off. Their time will be recorded when they clock off. If someone is going out on task, they need only tap the task button, select the task that they are going on, and then select the duration to which they estimate their uh, time of return, select their name, and they will be moved from the on-site box and put into the on-task box. This allows you to manage the fact that if they do not return by the designated time, you can start procedures uh, just in case an emergency has occurred. When a visitor comes to your site, they know you'd only tap the visitor button, complete their personal details, name and surname, and uh, site reason, reason for visit, and then take the acknowledgement that they have completed your site induction. The visitor's name and time of arrival will then appear in the visitor's list. There will be occasions when visitors are frequenting your site more often and to save time it may be just as easy to create them as a staff member for the period that they are doing that. When a visitor leaves they need only double tap the visitor box, select their name and they will be removed from the log. Now if your site has an emergency situation to which people must evacuate, you need to only click the print list button and you will be faced with a list of all people that are currently on site. This list will be printed automatically to a nearby printer. As a precaution, if the emergency denies access to the printer, an email and an SMS is also sent in the background to the default email and SMS number. And as SMSs are restricted in the number of characters, multiple SMSs will be sent to compensate. This list can now be used by the warden to check off against those in the emergency assembly area to ensure all people are present.
This completes this video on an overview of the site emergency evacuation system.